So in my last video we did um, JavaScript objects and I remember talking about um, how we're going to go back to the functions and utilizing it with, with the arrays and the objects and stuff, which is still going to be there, but I haven't fully gave or figured out the lesson plan for that yet. So we're going to continue moving forward and today we're going to um, do some loops or for loops to be exact and I will be showing some a few examples of how they work so all right all right now before I begin um, I don't know if you notice over here but I don't have an HTML page here right now at this time I'm just gonna use strictly the, um, the JavaScript page and then I'm gonna use the the bash to get the results but I'll tell you what though if you if you don't like the way I did this and you want me to like to include the HTML because eventually we're gonna get into it anyways, but if you want that in there, then I'll continue to put it in just for you know so you continue to familiarize yourself with it. So just let me know. Okay, so loops. So we're gonna do four loops, so and you're probably wondering what the hell is a for loop. But think of it as you wanna write you wanna Say you got in trouble, right, in school, and she told you, to, and your teacher told you to write, I will not do this X amount of time. So just imagine like that, right? But you don't want to repeat yourself. In that case, you do. In the teacher's case, you gonna have to write that thing down. But in my case, I don't want to write all of that down, right? So how do I write a for loop? So the first thing first is that a for loop has three different statements and. I'm gonna go each and every single one of them as I as I as I write that loop. Okay, so I'm gonna start writing the for loop, and I'm, I'm gonna do my best to explain it to the best of my knowledge. Obviously, I mean it's kind of hard to explain, and when you're trying to like explain it in different ways, you understand. But anyways, let's just let me see. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up with a, a I need a variable to start with. So I'm gonna say say I need. I'm going to use a sentence. So let's say let sentence equal to empty string. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave that like that. And I'm gonna create a second variable called let i, and I, that's gonna be a default variable. So you know default variables are undefined by default. So I'm gonna start making my for loop right here. So this is so pay attention. I'm gonna type it. Then I'm going to console log it to see if my results are correct. Let's save it. So let me see, let me see. It looks good. Let me run it really quick. Okay, so it is good. So as you can see, I say, it says here, we add that right there. Let's run that again. Okay, cool. So now I have it from zero to zero to ten. So I said I will practice social distancing ten times. So I wrote it ten times without any issues. Let's see if I can write it. Let's see if I can put five hundred. Let's see what happens. If it should run. There you go. There's 500 or 499. I will not, I will practice social distancing. So there you go. So let's see, how, how did I get this? So up here, I created a variable called sentence as an empty string, like I just said, like I mentioned. And then I created a, a default variable of I. So what happened here, so when I use the, the I, I once I started this for loop, I gave I the default value of zero, which is the first statement is 
the, the code to be executed one time. So that's what, that's what the first statement does. Followed by the second statement, which defines a conditional for executing the, the code block. So this is the this is the one that tells you like, hey, I need you to run this 500 times. And then the third block of code is the so every time that second code is telling you, like, hey, I need this 500 times. So every time it runs that uh, a a an integer or a number or a block of code is going to continue to repeat that action until it's until it's finally reaches limit so every time code 2 gets executed code 3 gets executed until un, until code 2 stops and so and that that is the result of of the 500 or 499 500 sentences and you notice that um you notice that i wrote all of this and just six lines of code so that's just a small example of a loop or for loop. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to write a multiplication table really quick. Um, just to show you an example, you know, there, there's some elements in there that we haven't spoke about. So I'm not going to go too deeply on it. I'm just going to type it out and I'm just going to show you. So here we go. I'm going to delete this. Actually, nah, let's leave it there. Put that right there. And then here, I'm gonna clear this. And then I'm gonna break, I'm gonna go silence for a little bit because I'm gonna type, I'm gonna type something, so. <clears throat> okay, so there was my multiplication table. Right here, look, if you can see, I got the one all the way to 10 for one side and the other side is one through 10. So each time a number increments, it'll give you that value and it goes all the way to 100. This concludes my video today. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, if you have any other questions, or uh, uh, any more questions on for loops, leave a comment below. If there's something that I missed out, please leave a comment below and let me know because I don't know everything and at the end of the day, I learn through everybody else. So that's just my strength. So subscribe if you like this channel. Peace.